Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use armor stands in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So I'll be going through all the uses and different features of the armor stand in Bedrock Edition. And so if you like Minecraft videos like this one, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft videos like this one. But let's just get started with this armor stand right behind me. So first of all, how do you make an armor stand? Well, that's actually pretty easy. So all you need is six sticks and put them in a the crafting table like this. And then put a smooth stone slab at the bottom and you can create one armor stand. And so the armor stand is an entity you can place down in the world like this by just right clicking. And then you can add armor to this armor stand. So it can be any type of armor, doesn't really matter. And you can also give it an item that it will hold in its hand like this. So this can be any item you want, as you can see. But it can't be any other type of armor. You can't put that in their hand. Or an armor stand is also not possible, but any type of block works or item. And you can break this armor stand again by either hitting it in creative mode once, but then all the items disappear. And if you go into survival, if you hit it, it doesn't break, but if you hit it twice, then it breaks and it drops all the items along with the armor stand itself as well. And apart from normal armor, you can also equip mob hats like the player hat, the zombie hat, the creeper hat, the dragon hat had the skeleton skull, the wither skeleton skull, the carved pumpkin as well, and of course also you can give it an elytra. So sadly apart from any armor or any of the heads I just showed you, you can't put any other items on an armor stand. So you would think that you could use the replace item command to change the helmet for example but sadly in better condition there's a little glitch here so if you use the replace item command over here so you put the entity the armor stand and then on its head we put uh, some gloss if we try this it is invisible so it might be because it's glass let's try stone but no, also the stone is invisible. And this is just sadly a bug and better condition. It also, if you try it on the player, doesn't show up. That's pretty stupid, but I found a couple of things where it does work for some reason. Not quite sure why. But if you use the command with a trident, then for some reason the trident does show up over here. It's very strange. You can you now replace the head slot and you can see it is a trident that's there. So I put the trident back and... We can put the rest of the armor on like this. So you can just see there's a trident sticking out through the armor stand. So if you want this, then that's possible with the replace item command. I will leave this replace item command in the description down below as well. So you can try that out. Um, another one I found that works is the shield. And once again, it looks totally crazy. Um, yeah, it's, it's sort of a necklace. I'm not quite sure. It looks very, very strange. But these are currently the only two I've found that are working for the head slot. If you can try out more items that would be nice, let me know in the comments down below which other items work in this case, like the trident and the shield that actually show up. And we can make this look even more crazy. Yeah, look at this. There are three shields on this armor stand right here. And so you can equip items in the offhand of the armor stand. And so this is done with this command over here. So replace item entity armor stand slot weapon offhand and then a shield. But you can only put items here you can normally put in your offhand as well. I've already made a video on what items can go in your offhand. Check out that video. Link is in the top right hand side of your screen. So if you use any of those items you can put those in the offhand of the armor stand. But now I've put the shield in the main hand, offhand and on the head slot of the armor stand making it look completely ridiculous. And so you can't put items or blocks on any other slot. So you can't put them in the chest plate slot, the legging slot or the boot slot. That's not possible. So there is the option to put blocks and items in the head slot. But sadly for most it doesn't show up. You can put the items you can normally put in your offhand in the offhand slot. And the shield and the trident are visible if you put them in the head slot. And since armor stands are entities, you can actually push them with pistons. And you can also move them with water or bounce them around with slime blocks. You can also place them in different directions. So you can place them diagonally or facing forward or whatever. And if you want to remove any items from an armor stand, just hold nothing in your hand and then right click the 
item you want to remove and same for the head there we go and something that's special to better condition is that you can actually make this armor stance have different poses and so you do this by shifting so holding shift and then right clicking on the armor stance so you can see the pose changes anytime you right click it while sneaking so there are 13 different poses and these are all the different poses so this is not only possible and yes there is a dab pose i don't know why so there's another one and there's one dancing dancing the other way pointing and back to the first one so you can also do this while it has armor on it so let's try it with this one we have over here so first of all there's a default pose then the second pose is no pose then we have solemn pose then athena pose brandish pose honor pose entertain pose salute pose hero pose riposte pose zombie pose can can a pose and can can b pose and then back to the default pose then you can also change the armor stand pose using redstone for the default pose bolt already has that and so it will have that when the redstone power is zero but when redstone power is set to one it will go over to the default pose then for two over to the solemn pose redstone power three athena pose four brandish pose five honor pose six entertain pose seven salute pose eight hero pose nine riposte pose ten zombie pose eleven can can a pose and 12 can can b pose so that's how to change it with a redstone signal now people have already found out how to make armor stands dance using this redstone fact and that's by using this circuit over here where if I place in this last piece of redstone, as you can see, the armor stands start dancing. But actually they just go through all of their 13 different poses after each other because redstone input signal goes down in strength one every single tick. And thus it changes the pose of the armor stand. Also, the second armor stand is definitely not necessary. You just need this one. And so this works because... The redstone torch turns on, which means it powers this redstone line, which means it powers this comparator and this comparator. But this comparator powers this block, which means the redstone torch turns off, but it also powers this piece of redstone. And so it forms a comparator pulse extender over here, which means that the redstone signal goes down slowly while the redstone torch at the start is already off. And that's how they created this dancing armor stand. And yes, this also, of course, still works when there is armor or items for the armor stand. So in better condition, you can actually also give potion effects to the armor stands, which means that if you throw a potion of invisibility at it, or, well, not give it, please, can I have it back? Thank you. Go a little bit further away. There we go. The armor stand is now invisible, but the armor is still visible. You can give them any type of potion, but this one has the most immediate effect you can also kill the armor stand using for example fire campfire lava or even harming potions and in this way it will die just like a player does there we go and it also acts like if a player dies so it falls aside and plays the player death sound effect and any of the armor the armor stand wears has an 8.5 percent chance of dropping when it's killed with a potion of harming There we go, we got a helmet back and it's actually damaged because the game thinks the armor stand spawned with the armor so it gives a random damage value to any of the armor or items the armor stand has when it dies. And so there we go, that's the armor stand in Minecraft Better Condition. I now hope you know how to use it and how to put it into different poses and make it dance. If you have any more questions about the armor stand, please let me know about them in the comments down below and I'll try to help you out. There we go, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft videos like this one. I want to thank my tier 3 member, the Smickler. Thank you so much for becoming a tier 3 member. If you also want to become a member, click the blue join button below the video to check out the different tiers. But there we go, I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you in the next one so until then bye bye